so welcome back now in this video we will start right working on the owner details okay so let's go towards the method list view widget okay and here as you guys can see this view widget right in here in the gesture detector one tab even right inside that as you guys can see we'll leave a comment create owner details okay so simply first we will create a directory right in the lib okay right click and go create directory name this as a owner underscore details okay now right inside that directory we will create a dot file by the name owner underscore details okay with a small alphabet so in here we will have a stateful widget okay and we will name this as a owner details okay we don't need this we will simply tell this okay and click on the stateful widget import this library material don't talk there we go okay now first let me tell you one more thing right in the home screen dot dot let's come here as you guys can see right on this list view widget from here we are passing some parameters okay it's doc id image img user img name date okay and the second last user id and the last one is downloads so simply from here we will pass that to the owner details screen and right in the owner details screen we will receive that and then we will able to use that and we will get the data okay so first let's go towards the owner details screen right in here as you guys can see okay and here first let's declare that as I tell you okay about this parameters right in the home screen dot dot so right above in here let's declare that first string track the first one will be ing for image the whole paper okay and the other one will be a string type user img simply the profile of a current user for the user and string type again simply for the name of user and right after let's get the date time okay date time and we will go with the date right after in here put the question marks so the error will be gone right after string type we're gonna create this for the doc id okay this fine right in here also for the user id okay and the last one will be integer type downloads for downloads okay all good as you guys can see now simply let's go and create a constructor for that okay so in here we will say this dot img okay right after this dot we will go with the user img right after this dot the name right after this dot we will go with the date okay and right after this dot hook id and right after this dot user id and right after the last one will be this dot download so in here we just initialize that created it okay now we will simply go towards the home screen dot dot and right in here first we will set the navigator okay we will simply push the user to the owner detail screen okay so we are set the list view widget okay let's go to work from here to the list view in here so whenever the user will click on this we will send them to the owner detail screen okay and in there there will be all of the details for that user who is going to be uploading their images okay the wallpapers so 
so we add this on tap event right in here okay so let's go and do that first in here we will say navigator dot push replacement and their contact set the new root to the material material page root as you guys can see right in here now you will simply set it towards the owner okay it's not showing the suggestion I think we definitely put the name wrong right in the owner details dot dot let's go and check that as you guys can see we put the n first before w so in here let's go and refactor that in here you will see owner okay like that o w n e r now that's fine and in here I will definitely show the suggestion there we go okay so that's fine right in here now semicolon right at end and from here we will simply pass the parameter to the owner details screen okay so first in here we will pass the img and one by one we will pass it okay so right in here so let's go and do that img to img it's fine in here and also let's go with the user img to the user img okay and also let's go with the name to the name and right after we'll go with the dead to dead okay and right after doc id to doc id and right after let's go with the user id to the user id okay and right after the last one will be downloads to downloads all good so as you guys can see in here we are simply passing those parameters okay as you guys can see the image one right in here we are going to pass that to the img to the on a real screen okay so in here put the mouse in here the cursor and press control and then click left button of a mouse it will send you right in here to the owner detail okay so now you know guys simply we are passing that to the owner detail screen like that okay there to date doc id to doc id user id to user id and downloads to downloads so from here we are passing that okay to the owner detail right in here and in here we will receive that as you guys can see okay now we will simply go and do the same right in the home screen dot dot this one is for the list view widget okay as you guys know now simply what we will do we will copy that navigator from here to here okay let's copy it Now go down and write in the grid view widget okay so whenever as you guys can see that comments remove that so whenever the user will click right in the grid view let's go towards the grid view in here so as you tell whenever the user will click on this image it will send them to the on a detail screen okay and there will be all of the detail for that current user who will upload that image so in here we also set that right in the grid view widget okay 
and also in the list view. From here we pass that parameter to the owner detail screen. Okay, as you guys can see right in here. Image to image and user image to user image and simply so on. We all pause those parameters and receive it right in the owner detail screen. Okay, right in here. So all good for now. And that's it for this video. Right in the next video, we will start working right in the widget build. Okay, so see you in the next one.